Hi guys, and if you've been following this video series, welcome back. I think we're about to be treated to a very pretty sunrise, so awesome. Right, okay, so in this video series, what we've been doing is building a logistics system that is nice and organized and doesn't require us to keep things out of the way. It doesn't end up in Spaghetti City. Essentially, we're building a bus, like from Factorio. So as you can see, I've gone ahead and reset up on the equator. So we've got all of our stuff coming to basic components here. Over there we've got our steel and over here we've got our stone and they're just coming into these lines which we're pulling off to build buildings. That was the first two videos. In this video we're going to do something similar um, or in that we're going to have nice neat logistics but we're going to do it for our oil refining which is required to do our tier 2 research. Our tier 2 research is done with these things, our energy matrix. As you can see I'm currently uh, researching them. Now to make these we need graphite and hydrogen. Graphite is fairly easy to get hold of if you don't have much of it you can just mine uh, coal and you can uh, process that coal. The hydrogen though is different and also the graphite comes into play because we end up getting graphite from the oil refining. So I'm going to have to throw some numbers at you. When we refine oil we can every four seconds we can turn two crude oil into two petrol and one hydrogen. So that looks like we're not going to be very good on the hydrogen and we're going to have a lot of petrol left over. That's not the end of the story though because from that stuff we can then go on to x-ray cracking. As soon as we research that, which we build with that, uh, with by having our refinery going, we can then turn two hydrogen and one petroleum into three hydrogen and one graphite. So the numbers are, for every 0.5 oil per second, we can run one of these recipes. One of these um, petroleum and hydrogen recipes. From one of those recipes, we can make two x-ray cracking recipes. So do more round numbers. Every one, petro so every one crude oil per second that we harvest, we need to do two recipes of plasma refining and four recipes of the x-ray cracking for us to not have huge amounts of stuff left over. So yes, I'm afraid I did have to throw some math at you there. So let's go ahead and get this set up. The first thing we're going to want is some oil extraction and we've got 2.19 seconds over there. That will do us fine. I'm just going to have to move that thing over a little bit. There we go. And we'll just do our extraction over here. And we're about to have the tutorial talk to us, so uh, come on, he's gonna blah 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 blah. Come on, I'm waiting. Come on, dude, do the blah blah. You built a there we go. Okay, and then we can just take some conveyors directly out from there and into these. So these tank storages, they are you run conveyors directly in and out of them, rather than the other ones where you use sorters. All right, let's give this some power. There we go. The reason I'm building this down here is I do want to do an equatorial soda farm. So I'm just trying not to do too much on the equator over there. But this will do us fine to start off with. I'm going to go ahead and just clear a little bit of area for us to do our refining in. Right, so that should be more enough space for us to work with. So we're going to take a line out from here, which we're going to run our refineries off of. There we go. We've got our research done there. Right, so we've got a nice cleared area there and I've run a line out there for our oil. Let's start throwing down our refineries here. Uh, so we've got 2.19 per second there. So we, if we want to use most of that, we're going to need four of these. So I'm going to go ahead there. I'm just going to run a conveyor down the side and I'm going to follow that on for four. I've set those up now. I've got some lines coming down the middle and you see I've left a gap here and we've got four of them running along the front there. Now I'm going to pull a line out just in front of them like that and I'm going to get rid of these a little bit there and we're just going to run over the top of them because eventually what we're going to do is we're going to loop back round onto ourselves so let's take this out and we want to start from two away we're going to go up by one like that and then we're going to remove two of them and then we're just going to go back down to the ground there we go. We've got to make sure you click that right. And there we go. Got to say thank you to my mate for pointing that out to me. It's really nice the way that works. Right, and we can do that all the way along. So start from two out. 
go up by one, delete the last two, and then go back down. That's now done. I had to redo these conveyor lines here. I had them coming this way. You want them going in the direction you're going to be expanding in. And obviously, I'm not going to be going that way. I'm going to be going this way. So I had to redo all that. So now we're going to go ahead and set up our lines. Um, we want to make sure we have petrol into all of these lines. And then we can just figure out where to put the hydrogen after that. So these two here, we're going to want petrol, petrol coming down here. And these two here, we're going to want petrol coming down here. So we grab this, we pull out, we press tab twice to make sure we've got petrol coming out. Tab twice, petrol. And it doesn't matter where the hydrogen comes out, but we can put out the hydrogen here on this side to make our life a bit easier if we want. There we go. And then petrol coming out here. And then hydrogen coming out on this side. There we go. So everything should be output in its petrol. No, we haven't got hydrogen coming out of this one. So just grab that out of there. It doesn't matter where the hydrogen goes because we're going to be doing a filter system. Now remember, each of these lines is also going to be outputting potentially carbon. So we're going to go and pull these back a bit. Oh, graphite. Energized graphite, I think. Is the word and we'll just put some filters on here there we go now we want our hydrogen going back this way in fact we want anything we can use in these going back this way so we want to filter out our uh, graphite in this direction so we'll just go ahead and put these on like this and now we set each of these to filter graphite in that direction so graphite coming out Next thing is on this side here, because we're only going to have things coming around here that will be products that can go into these. We can just go ahead and just throw some four-way splitters on here. Like so. After getting that done, I've taken the lines out here just to give us space to expand. And I've, on these four-way splitters to start with, I've got them prioritizing going out in this direction. Once we start making the x-ray cracking and we've done our research for that, we'll do it the other way. We'll have it prioritize going that way so we'll put anything back into the system that can go into there and we shouldn't have any petrol that is going around once we start actually doing the x-ray cracking and we can always just turn off those until we've got all the petrol in and then turn them back on and then down here what we want to do is just want to filter out so we have petrol going one way and we've got um hydrogen going the other direction so that'll do let's move that over so if anything does get clogged up eventually what will happen is the petrol will come down here and get filtered out and the petrol can feed into these anyway from the lines they're going to be coming round. you'll see it when it gets into action probably a little bit confusing to understand right at this moment let's just go ahead and split out here so we'll do this we'll put our hydrogen on this side so we'll filter out hydrogen to that way, and there we go. All right, we're almost ready to do our research. Last thing is we need a little bit of graphite being produced. I'm just going to fill in this area here. Right, so I've put a few things out together here. These aren't going to stay here, but I just wanted them all in the same place so you could see it all working together. I've got my graphite production here. It's just a basic little production. It's the same thing. It's these smelters, and they go into here. This line is feeding into the line that will be coming off of our x-ray cracking. And I've got a filter saying from the x-ray cracking, prefer the x-ray cracking. There's a reason that I'm setting this up to basically never have an excess of anything at, that's going to clog up into the system. And that is that as soon as one of these can't output one of their products, then it all stops. And that's because like, if this couldn't put out its hydrogen, for example, then it wouldn't put out its petrol because it would stop producing until it could output its hydrogen. Similarly with these, if it couldn't put out its hydrogen or its graphite, then it would stop producing until the overflow of that had been dealt with. So that's why over here I've got a couple of thermal stations. These will then be able to, at the moment, you know, we're definitely going to have an excess of graphite. 
they will be able to just deal with that excess of graphite and just make sure that this is always moving out of here and these are always producing. I might need a few more there. As you can see, I just wanted it all together. But now I'm just going to go ahead and connect these up. So we want what, graphite going in there. We've got that going into there. We've got that going into there. And we are now cooking on gas. Literally. Because hydrogen. Hashtag nerd joke. Anyway, um, let's pull this out of here and take it over to our research. So we'll pull that out there. Out here. Out here. We'll just bump it over these lines here. Right, so I connected that up to the line, got it connected into here, and we are now doing red research. As you can see, three of them is only really just about providing enough research for one of these. That's just a good ratio to remember, is you don't necessarily get enough out of these to provide for the same amount of these. It's barely going through to over there. And those are going pretty much full tilt. So... Once the x-ray cracking research is done, I will bring the video back in and we will finish up that system over there. And at the very end of the video, I'll just rearrange all this so you can see it be, can be a lot neater. Oh, that went quickly. I barely had time to make myself a cup of tea before it got done. Okay, so that is our x-ray cracking done. We can start setting these up. Let's um, go ahead and set the recipe on these. So we're going to want x-ray cracking. I'm going to copy, paste, 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 paste. There we go. Let's set our inputs. So we're going to want, well, let's do our outputs first. So out here, we're going to output our hydrogen on back of all of these. There we go. We want the hydrogen coming out before it gets pulled back in. Right, that's our hydrogen outputs, and now we just figure out where we're going to do things. So we've got our petrol going down this line, and we've got our petrol going down this line here. Or refined oil, I keep calling it petrol. It's refined oil. So we've got refined oil going down here, these two lines, so they need to be our inputs. So we know that we need to have two inputs here and two inputs here. So we can output one input of graphite there. Which means that these two can output their graphite into the middle line here. And then this one can output its graphite there. And that leaves two inputs there and two inputs there. Right, so we'll do the same here. And now we can start our inputs here. So we've got our hydrogen input there on this side. And now we find oil inputs off of these lines. There we go. And now we've done this right. What we should see is graphite start coming out. But we shouldn't see any more petrol coming out petrol refined oil damn it and eventually we'll start seeing our products coming down there yep there we go so that's being pulled out there now we just need to set our filters to this direction to make sure we are pushing it back into the system that's produced yep there we go and now we just need to wait for this to ramp up we are producing absolutely tons of hydrogen now. As you see, we've got a steady overflow into here. And this is gradually going down. That's a good sign. We want that to be the case. We don't want this backing up because if that backs up, we end up back here backing up. And then it's just, yeah, it's all sort of a fuster clock going on there. As I said, you can always just put a filter here for the refined oil if you want to, if that's, a, if that's something you're worried about happening. At this point in time, I'm not worried about that because I'm going to be constantly researching. If I put a buffer on here, I'm constantly going to be using it in here. But once you get to a point where, for example, maybe you're between researches, so you're working on doing your yellow research. Oh, there we go. That's nice. You might get a backup going on. So you just want an overflow, something to do with the overflow, which would be something like these thermal stations. You could always just produce less hydrogen by turning these off. And also, if you wanted more refined oil, you could just turn some of these off or add, add some refineries up here that don't go into the x-ray cracking. So before I finish up the video, I'm going to go and head and bring all this over to our research area over there and just make it look nice and neat and also clear up the space for the line that I want to do along here for the, what do we call it? Solar panels, that's the word I'm looking for. Okay guys, so that organization has been done. I just moved everything back a little bit and as you can see, it's going quite nicely. I did what I said I was gonna do where I've put a filter on this side here just to pull out any of the refined oil 
just in case it does make it through. It just means that if I want refined oil, I can just turn some of these off. Now that I have done the vertical construction research, you can see that what I've actually done is I've taken our first line up to three here. I just thought I'd show you this. Um, this is a way that you can get these down quite easily. So these are relatively close. And by taking this down, for example, one level or two levels, and you just do this little bump over that we did in the middle of over there. And yeah, you can still keep the lines going nice and straight and just have things crossing over like that. So we're doing pretty well here. Um, I might need to up the output a little bit and that's fine. After that, I will probably need to do a overflow over here for some sort of reactor. But there we go. It is all done. And that is how you balance out and do the x-ray cracking for the tier 2 research. I hope you guys found this useful. The next video is going to be, it's probably going to take a little bit longer to get out because that will be talking about using the, the logistics stations where you can have drones going from all over the planet. But that does require quite a lot of research. And that would also mean I have to go off planet to do that because you've got the planetary logistics system which requires titanium, which does mean I do need to go off planet to get that. So that will be the next video. It might be a little bit longer than these three have been taken to get out, but I hope you guys have found this useful and I hope it's something that helps you sort of avoid any confusion or complications in your build. Have fun guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you all soon. Bye.